Hey guys, what's going on? It's B-Man the Champ here. Um, it's another Wednesday. It's another ride along. Episode 21 now. Hashtag ride along Wednesday. Yeah, really. Raw. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of raw, we're going to mostly be talking about that because uh, unfortunately neither Brandon or Eli were able to really watch Smackdown. And those are the only two that are with me in the car this week, believe it or not. Triple's working and Shadow, I guess, just didn't want to show up. Can but, I add something? What? I did see parts of SmackDown, but... Oh, that's why I said we're not going to focus on it too much. I didn't watch much. the whole thing, no. We're not going to so, focus yeah. on it too much. I just wanted to put it out there. Yeah. And Eli, your, what was it? Your mom wanted to watch the basketball game or something? Yeah. yeah. Which, of course, the Raptors lost. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> womp, womp. Oh, well. It's like, it's like what they say with the Blue Jays. There's always next year. Anyway, uh, so really briefly going over SmackDown, we've still got that whole Intercontinental title situation with AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, and Sami Zayn, and uh, that's a that's a pretty interesting dynamic when you think about it because you got the fake champion Jeff Hardy, you've got the champion who uh, didn't who just took off for like several months and now he's coming back claiming that he's the real champion, Sami Zayn, which uh, I guess the I said it, I think I said it before, but I'll say it again. It's it just reminds me of the whole 1994 situation with Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. For some of you older school fans, you might know what I'm talking about. Where Shawn Michaels, um, I think, failed a drug test or something in '93. So, well, he 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 says he was innocent, but you know, nobody was really there to know. So, any, I'm not throwing shade on the guy or anything. I'm just saying, like, WWE says he failed a drug test. He said he didn't take any drugs. It's he said he said so. But my point is, like, they had him, they wanted to relinquish the title. He said no because he doesn't, he felt like he shouldn't be punished for something he thinks he didn't do. And uh, so they gave uh, another belt to Razor Ramon. Shawn Michaels goes home. He comes back, claims he's the real Intercontinental Champion. And then, of course, it leads to him and Razor Ramon in that epic ladder match at WrestleMania 10. So that's where I'm thinking this might be going between Sami Zayn and Jeff Hardy. But the question is, where does AJ Styles fit in all this? Because if you ask me, he's the real Intercontinental Champion. He won the tournament. And, of course, as you may or may not know, on a few weeks ago on SmackDown, Jeff Hardy essentially cheated to beat him. And I stand by that because how do you not... Like, they're saying it's accidental, but how do you not know that you're kicking somebody in the face with a knee brace? That's blatant cheating, if you ask me. So AJ Styles, the real Intercontinental Champion, probably see a triple threat ladder match with both titles, kind of like WrestleMania 10. But I don't know. So what about you guys? Do you think that's where this might be going, or is it going to be like a one on one between the fake champion and the so-called real champion? Probably one on one. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, no love for AJ Styles. No one cares about him. Lies. I care. Dougie would care if he were here. Oh, because you know why? They don't want none of them. They don't want none. No, they don't want none. <laughs> That's why. In reference. Speaking of references, our boy Eli just had a nice, pretty cool track earlier. He was playing with uh, some wrestling references. It was AJ Lee, AJ Styles. Uh, who else? Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus. Old school. John Cena. Yeah. Thank you, sir. That was it. Was a pretty funny track. Um. So yeah, so that's that whole thing going on, and uh, what else? Oh yeah, the WWE Universal Championship, Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso. Still, I'm st I still can't believe that's actually happening. I mean, who would have thought in 2020 Jey Uso would be getting a title shot against his cousin Roman? Well, we know it'd be Roman Reigns be the champion, but we didn't think it'd be Jey Uso being the number one contender. So that's interesting, and then the. It, um, so basically what happened is uh, Sheamus and Corbin came out claiming uh, nepotism because Roman Reigns had Jey Uso inserted into that fatal four-way match a couple of weeks ago for the number one contendership, which is how he won. So Jey's basically saying, oh yeah, you and I, you, we're going to have a tag team match later on. And uh, me and my me and my brother, Roman Reigns, not his real brother, but like his blood anyway. And then, uh, of course, versus Sheamus and Corbin. It was interesting, too, because uh, Roman seems to be doing that whole 
show up and win thing or wreck everyone and leave thing, whatever, whatever the, whatever the, um, the slogan that he's going by now because, uh, Jey Uso was by himself like 90% of the match. Roman Reigns comes in, boom, spear, one, two, three, it's over. So that was it. And then, uh, he's, uh, he's showing some kind of heel tendency. I know people are saying he's a heel and he's definitely showing some heel tendencies because he blind tagged in his own cousin. So, yeah, that was interesting. Um, I didn't, I didn't watch it, so I didn't really see what was, what's going on. But apparently Bailey was explaining the situation with Sasha Banks. I don't know what's going on with that thing. Frankly, I still, like I said before, I stopped caring like three years ago. You may even be making a cannabis store here. Oh, yeah? Oh, that would be interesting. used to be a corner store, actually. That would be interesting. And there's trouble. a pizza pizza there. Yeah. Well, he doesn't live in this area, so. No, but still. When he comes to my place, yeah, maybe. Well, that's not really... No, it's okay. It's all good. We gotta pad out this runtime somehow. Can we talk about Raw, though, please? Yeah, we're going to. Okay. I just saw him I'm trying so to demanding. Think of... I love it. But, uh... Anyway, so, yeah. So, I don't think there's anything else really noteworthy on SmackDown that I can remember. Oh, yeah. They tried stealing Otis's briefcase again. I only... He... He freaking stashed it. <laughs> they stole his lunchbox, which last it's two weeks ago they said it should have had the contract in there, but it's like, oh no, I had they stole a lunchbox, but they didn't steal the lunchbox, and then he reveals another lunchbox with the contract in it. <laughs> so they stole like uh what was it like uh, paper clippings or something or a shred of paper or something and another sandwich and oh man. Miz and Morrison, I'm telling you. I love their antics when they were a team back in 08, 09. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm still loving it. Eleven years later, I'm still loving it. It's so damn funny. Uh, some people might have a problem with them, but I find it entertaining, so it's all good. Uh so as you guys may or may not be aware, we're currently driving along uh Gerard Street and we're gonna be heading over to College Street. But right now we just passed Jones. Which is uh, in the area coming up soon here will be uh, Gerard Square. Gerard Square. Okay, Mall. It's not right now. Yeah, okay. it's, uh, I, I remember like for uh, like, my area uh, weekly. Of the city. Yeah. yeah, I remember almost weekly freaking going there with my own, with an old friend of mine right. who used to live uh, just up the street. So we like every weekend I come down. We I'd like to stay over the night, and then the next day we'd come here to Gerard Square nice. and just like. It's Chill. a good mall. Like it's changed. Like it's not like how it used to be. Like there's no Ice Man anymore. Like it's more corporate now. And there's this uh, this this girl I know too that used to. If you guys aren't familiar, there's this place out in my area called the East Scarborough Storefront. It's basically like a, it's like a resource center basically. But um, she actually worked here at Gerard Square the, when they used to be the Zellers. Yeah, I remember going to Zellers when I was a kid. Yeah, she used to work there and nice. we'd, we'd see her on occasion. She'd always try and get me to like buy this uh, Zellers credit card or whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm like, I can't, I don't have good credit. I was like freaking 20 years old at the time. Yeah. Like, I don't have good credit. What would, I use, what would I use a credit card for anyway, right? So yeah, so it's a little bit of uh, personal history of mine. Yeah, a lot of a lot of fun memories coming down here. Didn't have a lot of money, but had a lot of fun. And that's the real jerk. And that's where I used to live, work, just uh, right up the hill here, at the No Frills. There used to be a donut job. shop there too. Yeah. Right. So, so just here on the right is a Dave and Starlet's No Frills. That was my first ever job. Terrible place to work. Oh, so that's where you worked. Right here, yeah. Because oh, yeah, the I one near me. Like once. The one near me. Uh, never hired me and I knew the owner and that place is better this used to be a beer store yeah I remember that too never I, I never I don't like beer all that much to be honest with yeah. you guys never like the taste of it I'll drink alcohol like I'll have rum yeah. or whatever but beer I don't like beer neither no I just never like the taste what about you Eli you like beer oh yeah kind of love my beer can't lie I drink a lot like stone cold. <laughs> Too bad you can't get his beer in Canada. That'd be cool. I'd try so right here stone. on the left is where I work. And the principal is still in her office. This wow. late at night. My God. She's got no life. That's that, mate. It's only, uh, it's 
Yeah. Seven forty. I know, but still, I'm surprised she's in her office this late. And we're coming up here on Broadview Avenue, which is a pretty cool area. You'll be able to see it on the right momentarily. We're going to be passing by. It's now a uh, health center or something like that, but it used to be the Don Jail. No, no, no. Uh, the Don Jail is still there, but it's abandoned. Uh, Brids points in the back. Oh, okay. And that used to be a burrito place. And this is where there was a fire years ago, and now it's an A&W. Yeah. <clears throat> Which we makes good food. Our kids love that place, by the way, so much. Yeah, that slogan doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me either. Yeah. Good food makes good times. Okay, I get that. Yeah. But good food makes good times. I guess somebody was drunk or something. For a split second here, I'm going to do something I don't normally do, and that's take this thing off of the, just to show you, yeah. give you a good idea to see that, that, yeah, it's in there in the back there at Don Jail. There's a bit of a glare. There's a, yeah, Bridgepoint Health Center. I can fix that, just give me two seconds. This is our local Tim's when I'm at work. I usually go there, grab people coffee. And also, too, really quick, we're going to be fasting over the DVP in yeah. the Don River. Uh, all right, let's uh, enough reminiscing for now. Let's talk about uh, Raw since you since you seem so eager to get into it. Yeah, the Street Profits won. Yeah, they won that. It was uh, it was a bit underwhelming though. I gotta say, I mean, honestly, but still, it was a decent match. I think if it had gone like an extra, I don't know, two three minutes, yeah. but you can't see it too well because the bridge is covering most of it. Yeah, I was just passing over a DVP there. I'll put this back on here. Uh, so did you watch Raw there, Eli? Or were yeah, you I saw to... some of it. Not the whole thing. No. I like the I like what the Hurt Business is doing. They're actually like it's becoming really entertaining to me. Yeah. Like they like they have the total package. Yeah. You got the you got the muscle Bobby Lashley. You got the technician Shawn Benjamin. You got the high flyer Cedric Alexander. Who I still think probably made the best career decision of his life for joining the Hurt Business. And of course you got the showboat and the loudmouth MVP, but in a good way. He's uh, he's a really good talker. Like they 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 needed somebody like him. So he's he's done wonders I think for Lashley's I career. Saw that for Hurt Business, yeah. And uh, they also, too, looks like they're going to get into it with Retribution because uh, we saw another backstage uh, segment from Retribution. Just, I guess, more of their mission statement or whatever. And uh, and uh, I think a little bit later on, we see the Hurt Business uh, pretty much, well, they didn't volunteer their services. Like, obviously, they weren't going to do it for free because they're a business. But they offered to help shore up security for the night. And boy, did it pay off in the main event, which we'll get to. But also, too, uh, Cedric Alexander versus Ricochet was actually a really good match. I saw that. I've heard so that. Yeah. I actually, like, legit thought for a second that Ricochet might have picked up the win a couple times. But, you know, Alexander won with Lombard check. And, man, Rico's selling of that move. Oh, wow. Like, you see the height he got on it? That was crazy. Um, what? Uh, uh, Compass. No, but the road's closed. Is it? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh, well, we're taking a detour. Looks like it. Okay. Sorry, guys. We were meant to go down that street. Yeah. I don't know. That's the beauty of these things. Oh, no, no left turn on this street either. Uh, you gotta love downtown. Yeah. I guess we should have kept going along Gerard after all. I was right for once. 
I know, don't get too used to that. Let's go across Wells. If we can. And go to the gate in the woods. I mean, if that's what you're into. No. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm going to carry it away. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I've never been at security. I've um, only worked at security for, for World Pride, and it was actually not too bad. It was actually a good environment. Yeah? Yeah. Experience Pride if you haven't gone, even if you're not gay. Exactly. It's still pretty bad. Well, I mean, I feel like if you're not going there because, if you're not... Gay, well, we, we, you know, what's what's in it? What's in it for you? The celebration, being with people. Okay, but you can go to any old parade and do that. Mm -hmm. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like don't go if you're not. But yeah. I just don't. I personally don't see the point. Anyway, what else happened on Raw? Uh, oh, that was something. That was. So, so Drew, like, basically starts uh, another in ring promo. And he, but this is interesting because apparently, uh, if Orton's able to make Clash of Champions Gold Rush, then his match with McIntyre is now going to be an ambulance match. Which is definitely interesting. Like,. Ambulance matches themselves, like, but it, it, it's the stipulation I find because an, an extra night of stipulation is nice, especially when we haven't seen very often. What has there been like two ambulance matches, three since mm -hmm. since two thousand and three? So. Kane versus Shane, Kane versus Cena, Cena versus Ru yeah, I think there's only been three. I'm gonna try to go down, maybe Jarvis, and see if we can get back to Carlton. That's okay. I hope so. Yeah. Because. I think we've done this straight before because it takes us into UFT. I don't know what happens after that. Yeah, so we got the uh, McIntyre thing, and then later on, he and Keith Lee are backstage, and uh, Keith's like basically, I don't know what Keith was trying to do, is like touch his fractured jawline or something. I don't know. And Drew's telling him essentially just back off, and Keith still touches. So then they start fighting, and then Adam Pierce, he basically says, "Okay, if you guys can't, if you guys don't split it up right now, there's going to be no match tonight. And there's going to be no uh, stipulation for the Clash of Champions Gold Rush, which I guess seemed to work because they just backed off until their match at the end of the night." Which, of course, got interrupted by Retribution, so essentially made the whole thing pointless. <sighs> Speaking of Retribution, like, I I am just, I, I, I find it at least semi-interesting, but I really hope that they don't just ditch it in, like, another month or so. Yeah. Like, I want to actually see go somewhere, especially with um, the, the Hurt Business coming down at like when retribution it was like 12 on 2 or something like that mm -hmm. against Drew and Keith so her business comes down they join into the they join in the fray and uh it's just like and then uh Lash or Lashley Keith Lee and uh Drew McIntyre like do a freaking flip over the top rope onto onto everybody they like everybody down like as a, as a freaking we're talking bowling they they landed a strike pretty much I get everybody down. Yeah. Oh man, so yeah, so I don't know what's going, where this whole retribution thing is going. I just hope it actually does go somewhere. Otherwise, you know, what was the whole point? And yeah, you guys think Orton's gonna be ready to go for the match in two oh, yeah. weeks? Yeah, I don't think he'll win, but. Yeah, probably. Otherwise, like, but if 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 that is, if that ends up being the case, then, like, I know it ended up being pointless anyway. But at the same time, like, why are they why are they giving this? If they're not gonna give. If they're not gonna put Keith Lee in the match. Why, what was the whole point of this? You know, mm -hmm. especially since probably next week Drew and Keith are just gonna act like nothing happened. They're gonna go back to being the best of buddies or whatever. 
probably. If I know WWE booking, that's where they're headed. So, I don't know. So anyway, that was Raw and SmackDown. Unless I missed something any of you guys want to talk about. No, just that this is another school that I've worked at. Uh -huh. Jarvis Collegiate, really good school. Oldest school in Toronto. Yeah, we'll be pat um if we get if we manage to get back on to Carlton here, I'll be able to show you guys the play. I worked at the the what used to be the Maple Leaf Gardens, now it's the Metro there. Yeah. I worked there for a couple of shifts because they had uh Oh you mean Loblaws. Loblaws, Metro, whatever. So it's all under the same umbrella. And like that. I'm like so many places down here and like if we took time to actually go around I could probably show you like 20 different places that must have worked mm -hmm. so anyway if you tune in just to see the wrestling portion you can click off now if you want to we're just gonna like Basically, shoot the shit from here on out until we get to a certain point. Just point out like old workplaces and stuff, maybe. You know what, Eli? Why don't you uh, plug a U your YouTube stuff? Oh yeah, you can catch me on. Uh, just type in S C A T A B O I Scatterboy and. You can catch my album, Six Devil, that I dropped last year. Troublemakers on it. Uh, he's going to be on my next, not the next one, but the one after that. And uh, give it a listen if you feel like it. And I hope you like it, you know? Thanks, Rick. Good luck. Yeah, man. Yeah, we were listening to some of his stuff earlier. It was pretty good. Yeah, I was going to lie. These are the nights I live for, just chilling with the homies, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, ever, uh, yeah, ever since uh, the whole freaking COVID thing got started. Yeah. It's been that, been, there's been nothing else to do for like the longest time. For real. I still, there's still not opening places like Wonderland. I still, I just checked Screamers. That's not open yet. Damn. I wanted to go. Well, no, I mean, there's no, there's no guarantee that it won't. It's just... I don't know. They they still haven't announced the dates yet, so I don't know what's going on with that. So who knows? What's going because I usually look forward to going Halloween because my birthday falls around that time, right? So in October, so I always like doing Halloween themed stuff around my birthday, like going to Screamers usually the last couple of years and. One time, I went, one time I remember on my actual birthday, this is I think back in 2013, I went uh, I went down to Wonderland, I spent the day there, and then I stayed for a couple hours, and then I went to Haunt that night. Of course, it was by myself, because I didn't, like, nobody else was coming, because Daniel was working it. I don't think I knew you then. 2013? Uh -huh. I don't, like, I knew you, but, but like, I didn't have your phone number. Yeah. So, there's the Wobblaws I was talking about. Yeah. I've been to a few wrestling shows there. Also, there was an NXT house show. There's supposed to be an NXT house show, but that got changed. No, but there was also one after that or before that because we've been to one now. Hmm. Yeah, we were at the the Madame Athletic Center. Yeah. Had ROH shows. It had TNA shows. Yeah. Apparently NXT, but I never heard of that. We were there. There wasn't a lot of people. I don't remember the year it was, but. Oh, we just did it. Didn't see then. No, no, no! That, like that's, that's weird. Like, no, it was a Bobby Roode's last show, and he faced Velveteen Dream. Oh, and so it was it must a house been, show. It must have been just after then. Yeah. I remember when NXT came here to for the first takeover. They were, I think, it was uh, it was a Bobby Roode versus uh, Ty Dillinger. Yeah. Or was you know, Sean Spears on uh, AEW now? Speaking of AEW, you guys watch it at all? I've seen parts of it. Yeah, I haven't brought Sammy Guevara is really good. I know him. I, I think for a fact that Jericho's on there, Moxley. Yeah. 
I don't, I don't I don't watch too much of it though because I feel like there's enough wrestling I watch as it yeah. is. Yeah, there is a lot of wrestling right now. A ton. I mean, to like years ago. Yeah, there's a ton. There's TNA. ROH is just showing starting back up. I think. Uh, I guess it's a good time. AEW. To be I guess so. You can't. You can't. Like, there's literally nothing that you probably wouldn't want to watch. Friends is a good place to have dinner. New Japan. It's, uh, New Japan. All kinds of stuff to watch, but it can get a little much though. We're back downtown again. How, how how many times has this been now? We haven't been down here lately. No, but seems like we always end up down here sometime. Some of this shit might look familiar to you guys. I've been watching since episode one. I think this well, this road goes all the way to Hyde Park, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it goes past Hyde Park. Wow. I think that was initially the plan, but I know I'm not so sure if we want to go that far out. Why? Well, at least not in the video, because we're already at almost 30 minutes. Well, just let me know. <coughs> I guess because of, I guess of the detour. Let me know and then I can go south and then I can get on the gardener and then we can head out to Mississauga. We'll probably end it sooner rather than later. As long as I know so then I know when to go left. Here's Spadina Street, and there's a lot of cool stuff down here. There's a card shop, a game shop. It's called ANC. It's just down on the left, on the left here, and El Macambo too. It's a yeah, really yeah. Uh, interesting landmark. And they got an anime shop down at Spadina and Dundas called Anime Extreme, which is a pretty cool place to check out if you're an otaku. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I wore it, but he was, uh, yeah, I'm in the car now. I'm in the car now. Yeah. Yeah, no, he left his own. Uh, he's, uh, on College Street. I'll call you when I'm close. I'll call you when I'm close. Like that, that happens. Yeah. It's one of the. That's one of the fun things about. You never know what's gonna fucking happen. Yeah. 
call sometimes people call you at the worst possible times. Yeah. You hear they might be closing down sneaky bees. They're not. not they anymore, actually made yeah. a deal. I was, re I was reading that though. Yeah, it's just on the coming Have you ever been, left. Eli? Uh, I think years ago. I never been, man. They got a show. They have a hip hop band. So. Oh no way! You should tell that to Daniel. Oh, unfortunately, I work. Maybe in the summer we'll go one day. Daniel would love it. Man. Yeah. See, Daniel has more confidence to get up on stage and do shows. You know? Yeah. I'm kind of a bit. Um, oh, I'm very nervous to even. Anxiety. Same here. Like I'm on medication to like chill with my depression and shit. You know? Yeah. Like, and even that doesn't help sometimes. But yeah. just gotta hang in there, hope for the best, and just try to be calm, stay around good people. You know? Yeah. That's all you can do. Yeah. Man. Accept life for what it is. Nothing right. can be perfect. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, try. But. Inspirational speeches with Eli. Yeah. <laughs> you guys going to go to Palladium or no? Probably not. It's a it's little late. Uh, no, it's closed at 9. We're not going to make it out there in time. Sure. I wish we could. It's still, I still find it stupid that they're closing in October now. This isn't a right turn lane, though. No. Oh, well, last thing he needs this, baby. I think this isn't a left turn lane, actually. Here is this light lamp? Is this light uh, really short? Mirror downtown. Well, yeah, but mm. it's shorter than usual. Mm. Maybe it's just the traffic, I guess. Yeah, see, look at that, it's already flashing. Countdown. <sighs> you know what I think about here is where I'm going to call it, okay. like once we get to Dufferin or whatever. Cool. So we can just. Dufferin doesn't reach. Gardner, though. Oh. Well, you have to turn left. You have to turn left somewhere. Yeah, I can go like Lake Shore or something. Yeah, we still gotta go do tilt. Tilt and kilt. <laughs> You've never done it. I've done it. It's mm -hmm. just you haven't. Yeah, I was going to go with my dad years ago, but we should go. There's one on the Esplanade. Well, they put one there too now. Yeah, it's been there a while. Hmm. Well, I haven't been on the Esplanade in years since I used since I worked at 25. It's better to go in the summer than now. But sure, we can go one day. Maybe on a Friday. You and your Fridays. Well, I have to work <laughs> during the week. I can't get drunk. I know, I'm just fucking with you. I'm sorry. I know. I'm if you were free out. Saturday, like. Oh, I gotta work too, you know. Well, then in the summer, I'm sorry. Unless I get off again because of COVID. We'll see what's going on. I mean, that, uh, it's all but looking at at this point. Yeah, hopefully. Well, hopefully we get the rest of the work. With pay. Well, with pay, or else I won't be going nowhere. Well, I mean, that'd be pretty scummy if they don't pay you. Pretty scumbag. It's not your fault that you know that you, you had to shut down. That kind of looked like Adam Cole. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> but um, baby. What was that? Uh, you know, Brandon. What was that ice cream place you were talking about at that time? I the one on Lawrence. Oh yeah, uh, Big oh, Mo's. I think. That, yeah. I think it's close. I, I I just don't know if it's even still open. What kind of ice cream was it though? Nitrogen ice cream. How, how does I don't get it. 
They, they, I guess they just basically make like fresh cream and they dip it in nitrogen or something. Wow. Liquid nitrogen, because that shit's supposed to like flash freeze, right? So, nice. I think, I don't know, I, I've never actually been there, so I don't know, but. Shaw. Oh boy, do I do I have a story for you guys? Okay, so there's I'm gonna try and get it in as quick as I can, but there's um it was uh Queen and Shaw. Uh one this is one year, this is many, many years ago, and there's this uh I was supposed to meet up with this this friend of mine's friend, friend of a friend, I guess you'd say she was trying to hook me up. And well, let's just say things weren't too great because oh my god and there, there's this guy I was also friends with at the time he was dating her and then her friend she was trying to hook up with her friend like I said I'm trying to avoid names because I hate I hate all three of them but back then it was different so we go to meet up with this one girl and like we're waiting and then she's oh like I call her and she's like okay I'll come up and get you so she's walk, then she's walking up the street and I'm looking at her and my buddy's looking at her and we're both thinking the same thing, which was like, run like hell. Let's see. Oh God, like I'm I'm not one to talk, but damn. Let's just put it that way. So yeah, long story short, it didn't work out. But yeah. So that was, uh, that was something. It was, I think this is back in 04? 05? Holy fuck, I was only in grade 5. Yeah. You must have been, what, 1918? Uh, 17. Wow. I feel so young now. Yeah, you should. We're fucking, we're fucking old fogies compared to you. You're like 30. I'm 30. I'll be 32 in a month. That's not bad. Not bad, but still. I am. I... I would take Bathurst, but Bathurst is closed. Yeah, I know. And I think we passed Bathurst. Oh, yeah, we did, because that's where Sneaky Dude was. <laughs> no, I, I heard they have the... really good nachos at Sneaky Dude. Ne you know where there's really, really good ones? Ex ones that are expensive? Yeah. Near my house, on the break wall, okay. but they're really expensive. I don't even know how much they are. Is this stuff from? Yeah, I think so, because we passed the Austin thing. Oh, yeah, because this is where... Right. Stardust convenience. All right. Well, then, in that case, looks like we're ending things off here. Thanks, guys. Well, you for wanted watching. to turn off here. Yeah. yeah, I know. Well, I will go further, but it's going running long as it is. But do you want to go further? Well, not. No, not really. Okay. It's almost been forty minutes. All right. Yeah, that'll do it for us, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next week, hopefully. Peace.